live. Just kidding. We're live. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to WWT Wrestling with Trivia. Today, I'm one of your two co-hosts for the day. I'm JPO, Jordan Pierce Owens, joined by Mr. Mesa Mania, the one, the only Steve Mesa. See, what's up? Not much, man. Uh, I haven't done little hosting duties in a while, and I think it's about damn time that I start <laughs> becoming a master of ceremony. Start slowly taking over. Yes, you know and I mean. Indeed, we'll be splitting the duties today of bringing you guys 20 questions on the world of professional wrestling. Introducing first, we have a big debut in the arena. He's got the baddest ass background. It's Andrew Dim Simmons. <laughs> What's up, guys? Happy to be here. Happy to show something. Show something. Not sure what I'm going to show, but I'm going to show something. <laughs> oh, oh, well, it might be an already oh. program. I don't know what that even means. I think he's going to Zoom bomb us, you guys. I think he's going to Zoom bomb us later. <laughs> I still don't know what any of this means. And his opponent, ladies and gentlemen, they're actually coming from the same state, too. What a quinky dink. It's Funky Sam Medina. Sam, what's up? What's up? Hey, so uh, on this show going forward, I'll be known as Funk Bird because I am undefeated, you guys. Funk Bird. I am 1-0, and, uh, and yeah. my streak continues. We'll see if it continues today. Uh, we shall find out indeed. Uh, Steve, go ahead. Go do your 10. I'll be quiet here in the background keeping score. Rock it. Are we doing All 20 right. questions? We're no, 20. he's doing 10, then I'm doing 10. Co-hosting. Yeah. We're co-hosting, baby. Nice. All right. So, I, you know, usually when I come on to this, uh, well, maybe I shouldn't use the word, that phrasing here, but uh, if, if I, so when far. I, when I enjoy, <laughs> when I, when I am doing the host duties, maybe doing is an, also another wrong choice. Anyways, also duties. I, Gross. I have some questions and these questions will probably be a little difficult even for the wrestling side. So let's try to test your wrestling metal lady. Well, excuse me, gentlemen, here we go with question number one. What year was the first time that the Ring of Honor World Heavyweight Championship was defended at a Wrestle Kingdom event? I am looking for a year. Jeez, even a Ring of Honor lover like me has got to wouldn't be total confident in that. All right, good one, good one, though. I Remember to be a little roll around in those, Steve. Throw in a couple, you know. <laughs> well rounded not your name, huh? <laughs> Don't call me Royal Wanda Mesa for nothing. Because they don't. <laughs> That's why they don't call you that, yeah. All right. Are we both in, gentlemen? Yes, sir. Yeah, but I have a disclaimer. Disclaimer. <laughs> I'm going to show you my answer. All right, let's start with you, sir. Sam. So uh, I originally said 2015, but then I had... Uh, the the uh, the thought to change it so uh, it looks like a 15 but it says 2016. Andrew, I went the opposite way, so I mean they're gonna be really dumb. I said 2007. And the first point goes on the board for Sam 2016. Oh, yeah, yes, sir. 2016. I believe it was What's funny. Is uh, I was trying to remember how many Wrestle Kingdoms ago it was. <laughs> Figure it was the 10th one there because yeah. it was the 10th. Because I remember 2015 being Wrestle Kingdom 9, my first Wrestle Kingdom. I probably ah, would have Those were the days. All right, moving on. Uh, number two, who did Hangman Page face at All In? There was All Out. But before there was All Out, there was All In. Oh, I know this one. I could be wrong with this. Man. I'm not much of a modern wrestling person. <laughs> well, we'll see with these questions. All right. Andrew, do you have an answer? I said uh, Joey Janela. And Sam, do you have an answer? Well, I remember the double and nothing to have the Casino Battle Royal where he did win the number contendership. And I want to say it was Jericho, but they could have fought at a different pay-per-view. And with a point on the board, Andrew gets that one point. Joey nice. Janela. I almost put Joey Ryan because he had the run in, right? That's why yeah. I have Joey Janela featuring lots of dicks because lots yes. of dicks were there the too. Birds were great. Plus Joey they're Ryan. Great. They're not allowed to ask us any questions where the answer is Joey Ryan. Well, the answer wasn't. It was Janela. <laughs> it was Joey Janela. All right. Question number three. 
What pay per view featured the debut of Scott Steiner in TNA? Oh, I am looking for the name of the event. So, which Impact TNA event pay per view featured the debut or the butt of Scott Steiner? Is that a Glenn Close reference? The butt? The butt? Is that a Glenn Close reference? That's a uh, riddle reference. You didn't watch the Oscars, Steve? I did watch the Oscars. Yes, I know. All right, well, that, that was a, don't, don't ruin my Glenn Close joke. It was funny. They're in, Steve. Pay attention. I didn't watch the Oscars this year, and I'm usually a diehard Mark. And they it. were at least have, be able to have a normal ceremony. So uh, yeah, I, I mean, like to define the normal. The ending was odd. The ending was odd. Yeah, or they people, thought it was Chadwick. That's funny. Or people doing it from home again. <laughs> All right, Sam, what you got? So I have no idea the answer to this question. I just went with my first instinct that I said against all odds. Andrew, what do you got? I have no idea either, but I said bound for glory. Well, you both have two impact TNA pay-per-view names, but I was looking for Destination <laughs> X. What was the answer? I'm sorry. Destination X. Uh, uh, that, that, that makes sense. That makes sense. You know, all those exhibition guys got to get. Featured. I was just about to say, that makes the least amount of sense. But yeah, not always was it catered <laughs> with, to them. Yeah, yeah, with all the, the was... TNA pay per view questions, it's just a guess for me of like the four pay per views I know. Uh, well, here's another impact question. Here we go. Just kidding. Uh, no, we are going with a very interesting question that I find. So, which show or promotion? Now, I'm looking for the name of the show or the name of the promotion had Nick Aldis winning the NWA Heavyweight Championship from Tim Storm. I should know this. Looking for the name of the show or the name of the promotion. I actually was looking at NWA World Championship Runs on Wikipedia today. So oh, I'm look at you! Confident. Are getting prepared, huh? Pretty confident. All righty, all righty, all righty. Just getting vaccinated, you guys. <laughs> uh, let me guess here. Um, who are they doing business with for a while? I know they're doing business with some people before they really went off on their own. You can really uh, say Sam is against all odds here. You can, you can. Well, he already knows, so I'm just going to write something down. Because I'm not going to get it right no matter how long I think about it. Because he already knows. All right, Andrew, what do you got? Right answer, I'm pretty Andrew. sure it is CZW. Sam, what do you got? I just put Ring of Honor because it's likely that that happened. It is CZW Cage of Death 2017. Nice. Never would have known that if I wasn't literally looking at the Wikipedia today. Um, I, know, I should have known that because I remember when the NWA came back, I was like super like excited about it. Nice. All and right. Yeah, Cage of Death featured a really nice NWA classic title match. Oh, what a fun little contrast there. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So Andrew's up one point to Sam's two points. Uh, if you reverse, two yeah, point one to one. one. Yeah, yeah. Andrew has two. Sam has one. But he's up by one point. That's what I meant to say. Here we go. Who was the first masked wrestler to appear in Madison Square Garden since lifting its ban on masked wrestlers in 1972? Interesting one. Jordan, feel free to play along if you want to. <laughs> no, because I don't know. <laughs> I would have you. <laughs> and you. <laughs> I'm a little bit afraid that uh, this was too easy for me, and I probably got it wrong. We'll find out. All right, it looks like the answers are in. Sam, what do you have? WWE Hall of Famer. Andrew, what do you have? I went way out. I said the Blue Blazer. Oh, tying it up, Sam. That was one of the things that they emphasized when he went into the Hall of Fame. That would have been my guess. I should have played. <laughs> Your guess. All right. Hopefully you guys don't guess on this one. Who was the winner of the first ever G1 Climax tournament? Oh, my goodness.
Andrew should be pretty confident unless he didn't read up on his G1 Climax winners. I knew this, but I forget it. Um, Because he won one right out. He won the third one, too, but I can't remember who it is. I don't know even how long it's been around. 1991. 91? Okay, I'm going to scratch this answer. No, so it's not Hiroshi Danashi. Oh, it's not Okada. Yeah. Oh, it's not Ibushi. <laughs> yeah, no, not, I don't know who's. Oh, no, it, Ibushi it's is not. It's not. Born. It's not Jay White. Jay White's probably not even born. No. Oh no. Jay, um, Jay White. My uh, my New Japan knowledge doesn't doesn't go back to the nineties, unfortunately. All right, let's see where your knowledge lies in, Sam. Uh, well, the biggest icon I can think of that's probably from that time frame, uh, Kenjimoto. Andrew. I said Nagata. Yuji Nagata. Ooh, those are really good answers, but I was looking for Masahiro Chono. Masahiro oh, Chono. That's cool. I didn't know he won. But wait, is this the modern G? Okay, I should have clarified before. I think Nagata won the first modern one, but I'm not sure. Well, this is the first ever G1 Climax okay. tournament. Okay. So the first one to ever be, be called a G1 that? Climax. Okay. And that was also a wrestling tournament. Moving on. Here we go. What was the main event of the WWE Hell in a Cell pay-per-view 2013? So I'm looking for two individuals. Who headlined the main event of WWE Hall of Hell? Hall of Fame, Hell in a Cell, pay-per-view, 2013. It's a tied game. Anybody's game at this point. All right, looks like Sam has his answer. I just... (laughs) <laughs> and Andrew just finished writing his poem. There we go. Andrew, what do you have, sir? Um doubting this is right, but it's around the time period. John Cena versus Big Show. Sam, what do you have? One more match, baby. Randy Orton and Christian. Oh, Sam, you only had half the answer. I was looking wow. for Randy Orton versus Daniel Bryan. Wow, that's true. It's funny because I wrote Randy Orton and then I was like, oh, who'd he go against? But yeah, there you go. That's cool. Daniel Bryan, Randy Orton. Yes, here we go. Moving on to the next question. This is a Ring of Honor question dedicated to you, Mr. JPO. Woo! Name one of the two female members of the Ring of Honor stable, The Prophet. This is, this is not for me. I don't know what this is. It is it the Prophecy or is it The Prophet? The Prophet. I might have misspelled it. Hold on a second. I'm going to double check and make sure I didn't misspell it. I think, I think, hold on. Let me see. (laughs) Yeah, it's a prophecy. My bad. <laughs> Good. I'm out to say the I'm prophet. <laughs> the prophet. Damn you, spelling check. So name one of the two members of the Ring of Honor stable, the prophecy. You mean one of the females? You said right. Yes. All right. Because I mean, there's multiple dudes. So I'm just saying. You no, I know there's females. multiple dudes. Yes, two uh, females. Uh, name one. All right, looks like Sam is in. Looks like Andrew is in. Sam, what do you got? Okay, I remember, excuse me, Jimmy Jacobs was in the prophecy, I think. I think I'm thinking of something else. But Lacey, Lacey was Jimmy Jacobs. And then I actually, I think I'm thinking of uh, another group that happened later on. You Andrew, what do you, Andrew, what do you have? I have no clue. I don't know anything about the Ring of Honor Women's Division. I said Chelsea Green. Oh, oh, call on me, Steve. Sir, JPO. Is it Alice in Danger and Simply Luscious? That is correct. Alice in Danger and or Simply Luscious. 
Yeah, you're still not Those big. Those names big. Mean, mean nothing to me. <laughs> uh, oh. Sam, you're thinking hey, of uh, Age, Age of Allison, the Fall. Allison, oh, Age of the Fall. That's what I was thinking of, yeah. Um, yeah. Allison Danger is uh, Steve Carino. Steve Carino. Yeah. All right, here we go. Question number nine of my portion of the trivia. Chigusa Nagoyo and Lioness Asuka formed which Joshi tag team? It sounded like gibberish to me. <laughs> Chigusa Nagoyo and Lioness Asuka formed which Joshi tag team? Shabaru and Shabaru. <laughs> what tag team? Billy, please, no more gibberish at the dinner table. <laughs> Sorry, Daddy. Shabaduhu. Gaduhu. Gadu. Well, that was from Billy Madison. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and mute. <laughs> He's don't, kidding. Don't kidding. I don't have the power. I don't have the power. Yeah, you don't have the power. <laughs> I know. All right. Let's say uh, both of these gentlemen have their answers down. We will start with Mr. Simmons. I said uh, Sensei Pirates, but no fucking clue. <laughs> That's a long name. Right. Sam, <laughs> Sam, what do you've got? Uh, I had no idea what it was, so I figured I'd go for the pop instead of the win. So okay. I uh, typed in the Kabuki Warriors. <laughs> ah, you know, they are a Joshi tag team. But, GPO, do you have one? Do you have an answer? Or no? uh, I was just going to guess they were the chicks from the Rumble jumping bomb angels. <laughs> nope. Crush Gals. Crush Gals. They, they were actually a popular uh, pop musician before they became wrestlers. I was a deep oh, ass wow. cup, Steve. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, it's a very deep cup. So is this one. Last question. Here we go. <laughs> what was the name of the first WWF show that was broadcasted on MTV? Oh, uh-huh. I believe there were two. Which was the first? Literally a 50 50 shot. If you know the names of these two pay per views slash shows, yeah, that, that's my problem. I'm having 50 50. I, like I, I feel like I know both, but I don't, I don't, if I, I don't know, know which came first, yeah, and which was broadcast first, too. But up, but I wrote down three answers and crossed two of them out, so. <laughs> Oh, one out of three shots will give you something. Wait, repeat the question. I'm sorry. Yes. What was the name of the first WWF show that was broadcasted on music television? MTV. Music television Network. Yes. Yeah. Back when they played music. All right. I, I wrote something down. I don't, I, it's not right. All right. I was Sam. trying to like, I was trying to like Go okay, well, maybe you know. Never mind. I'll, I'll tell you later. All right. No, you can tell me now. <laughs> oh, I was trying to go. This guy's trying to trick us. It's probably like Sunday night heat or something. <laughs> okay, but well, go on, go on, go on, go on. Unveil your answer. Uh, the answer was uh, rock and wrestling. I have no idea. It's a rock and wrestling movement, but that is yeah, no, not the name of the show. Andrew. So that's the the one I kept. So I said rock and wrestling, but I also have the real world. <laughs> and tough. No. And, and no. This was no. on the real world, though. You know, the, the, you're right, though. It wasn't the rock and wrestling. It was a movement. Yeah, it was. Yes. I was looking for the brawl to end it all. Oh, I would have had it wrong. I went with Warders and the score. I didn't have brawl to end it all. Yeah. The show, it's I did have an idea. <laughs> all right. The to end the score. The word in the score. Well, well, speaking of score, going into Jordan's half of the trivia. We've got a tie game going up. Sam, two points. Andrew, two points. Mr. JPO, please take it away. We are halfway there living on a prayer. Any man's shot here. So question number one here, less of a deep cut than some of those that Steve had. But good question, Steve. What two years did mankind face the Undertaker at a King of the Ring? Voice. 
I'm playing along. <laughs> hey, just don't get more points than me. It's fine. All Jordan, right. I'm in. <laughs> Thank you, Sue. Andrew, what you got? I have uh, 1998 and 1996. All right. And Sam, what'd you say? I also said 96 and 98. Yes, you gentlemen are correct. Oh, look, I got 1988 and 96 too. Look at me. Yes. And Steve's on the fake board. All right. I wish the question was. Steve has 11 points now. In numerical order, (laughs) I would have won. Yeah, I was like, hey, you guys went backwards on it. But yeah, you had it. No, I mean, as long as you have the two years, it's totally fine. All right. Number two. What WWF alumni returned briefly as Goldust's bodyguard in 1996? Now, I don't believe the bodyguard had a name, so just give me the old gimmick. Interesting. So, 1988? 1996. This is early Goldust. Him and Marlena, they had a bodyguard for a little while. Hmm. He had previously worked for the company under a different gimmick. Throw it out there, even though I'm not playing. I have to get in the competition mood. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know. Just have fun. You know, that Austin biography was a banger. Just caught up with it. Oh, yeah. I want to watch those. I don't have cable, though. Austin's good. Yeah, what did you uh, watch them on? Are they streaming anywhere? Probably online somewhere. You just look up, you just to find you go find, go to video, Daily Motion or video, Vimeo. You'll find okay. something. Actually, we'll, we should probably talk about this where it's not. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, over here. Here. I do want to see it though. Oh, fuck. Yeah, because all five people are going to be snitching on us. Yeah, all five hey, people. Solid 17 or 24 views, maybe. Oh, that's, uh, yeah. that, that, that's the channel, not the video. We know that A&E and mute. Oh. Sam, what you got? I put the Berserker. I didn't even know Golos had a uh, bodyguard, to be honest. Andrew? I said the British Bulldog, but I also didn't know he had one. I think it's not Mr. Hughes, because I, I was thinking that. Looking for Mantar. Mantar really? would Mantar. be his... Yeah, I'm just as a normal dude, though. Obviously not looking like Mantar, but just as a normal dude. Yeah, that's crazy. I don't remember this happening at all. Um, wow. Like I said, it was pretty, it's pretty early on for a few months. So he finally gets taken out. I think by Warrior, I think, takes him out. Deep cut. All right, yeah, number three. Born, so that's my know. deep cut. All right. <laughs> well, this isn't a big promotion. Not your Joshi Stardom Girls or whatever. No. <laughs> number three. Kenny Chaos and Robbie Rage were known by what WCW tag team? Wow. Good questions, JPO. Good questions. Hey, what about my question? My question was good. Your questions were good, but they seemed you said you started out as they were gonna be hard. <laughs> and then there's some images of uh, the, the bodyguard. Oh, okay. Entering the ring. And also it looks like Gold is oh, about to murder him. Murder him right here. And then for some reason, a picture of Mr. Hughes. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Hughes is dope though. Uh Andrew, what you got? Oh, Sam, you in? I'm in. Andrew, what you got? Complete yes, but Chaos Rage, uh, The Asylum. And Sam? I remember their theme song. It was like Danger, High Voltage. Oh, Sam. Nice. Very important. Fourth, fourth point here. Ice Train, I think it's just one dude. I think that is a wrestler. I, think it's just I, one like, dude. I like Ice Train. Ice Train uh, tagged with Scott Norton. They were Fire and Ice. There you yeah. go. <laughs> Speaking of tag teams... Enzo and Big Cass made their raw debut by interrupting and cutting a promo on what tag team? This is their big main roster debut. Bada boom. Soon to be released guys in the room. (laughs) Hey, I just came up with that. Props to me. (laughs) Hey, but uh, props to Big Cass. I just heard you're chopping impact. 
Yeah, and looking great I too. I don't know what he did or who he was with or what you know, whatever. But uh, I just knew. Uh, he was a replacement for Eric Young in an eight man tag. Cool. No, he looked he looked great, man. He looked great. So yeah, I saw pictures. I saw pictures of him. Yeah, a little ripped. Uh, w Morrissey. Yep. That was his name, W Morrissey. Yeah, this is this is legit name, so they can't sue him. Right. <laughs> oh. Okay, I just remembered. Even though I'm not playing, I just remember. It, it just came to Steve for that bonus point. All right, Sam, what you thinking? You know, I have, I might have a false sense of confidence, but I'm pretty sure it was uh, Bubba Ray and Devon, the Dudley Boys. I like that you had a Z in there. Andrew, what you got? Yeah, this, uh, I had a couple answers, but I said Slater and Rhino. Uh, Dudley Boys, they interrupt. No, oh, wow. uh, Sam had it. They interrupt the Dudley Boys, got a little promo right. on them. They walk right past them, and then they anger them. Blood villains. So I, thought, I, I thought about that rope, that rope, uh, that rope uh, spot. Oh yeah! Ouch. Number five. Hey, that that whole match can be done on the indies now. Yeah. <laughs> Steve, Steve, throw me twenty grand. I'll make it happen. All right. Number five. Who won the WWF Intercontinental Title at Royal Rumble, nineteen ninety two? And Steve's in my favorite pay per view. This could be my favorite year, too. I'm very mad at myself because I should know this one. Yeah, give me a minute. No, you got some time. Just vamping here, vamp, vamp, vamping. Vamping. So, so, vamping or vaping? You said Steve was done. I was like, oh, I gotta hurry up and write it. Nah. Don't worry about not, not in a mean way, not in a mean way, but if Steve's done, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm not on the board. I mean, I'm technically, yeah, I'm not on the board. What am I talking about? I'm yeah, on the imaginary you, board. You have one imaginary board. I'm on the imaginary board. Soon to be two imaginary board. Oh, do you know this one? I do, sir. Hey, show. So, Steve, if, if we had hosted Trivia Sunday, what would you have brought? As a gift. A gift? My uh, 18 for the points. Winner. <laughs> no, for the winner, who what would you have brought? Uh, the prize, rather. Prize yeah, better. I probably would have brought uh, Kevin Owens' uh, 8 by 10 Nice, nice. And it promoted as your cousin. My cousin Kev. Yeah, I'd be like, hey, he just sent us over. I called him up last week. Yep. The funny thing is, too, I asked the guy, he said no, something about they're doing a seminar or they're doing less things because of COVID. And then, like, like an hour later, I check my email. They're still advertising it, so I don't know what they're, what flim flam shop they got going on there. Flim flam. Well, <laughs> good news is I head home earlier than I wanted to. <laughs> yeah, you, you can shoot out, I mean, right around three, if not sooner. Yeah. I can just go home as soon as the show's over. You don't want to hang out and get dinner, man? Come on. I mean, we could I get dinner. It's fine. You want to get an early dinner? It's fine. I just. All right, gentlemen, who won the internet of the title of Rumble 92? I'm going to hit you with a 10 here. A 10. A 9. An 8. I'm a in. 7. Five. Oh, Rand. Okay. Andrew's five. right. Andrew's in. Andrew's got. I said a uh, rowdy, rowdy pipe. And Sam. I, you know what? I wrote down Mr. Perfect, but then I crossed it off and I wrote also a Roddy Roddy Piper. Roddy 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 Piper. Right decision there, Roddy Piper. I was about to say he's behind you, Steve, in a couple of different ways. Uh, yeah. My autograph. I got an autograph. Signed by him on the Day Live DVD cover. Thank you. Very always much. a good hint. Think about Mania sometimes, you know, who he walked in Mania's champ. So Rumble's right before Mania. Sometimes One of the best yeah, media that's, how I did it. I like, that's exactly how I figured it out. Yeah, me too. Man. I'm going to say this. That match is much better than Macho Man Flair. Oh, yeah. Much better. All right. I don't know about ever. Your first name, man, but... but top 10, top 10 media match. Better than Macho Man Flair. I'd, I'd have to look, man. I well, my per it's my personal, it's my personal taste, my friend. Very true. Very true. I'm, not, I'm just saying. Me personally, I don't know if I can go that far. Good match, though. No argument there. You know, I really liked um, the promo that he cut before the match because he like, talked about Brett's family and like 
I yeah. like these guys that grew up and like just that he just made it that personal touch with the family. That's like that a lot. That's a great damn promo. Uh, I also like favorite. Ric Flair talking about banging Miss Elizabeth. And yeah, that too. Yeah. I mean, I mean, he, Flair has talked about banging every every brunette and blonde for the whole almost the whole eighties nineties. Yeah, it's, it's All right. character work. So you have to go bang her again in WCW. <laughs> Speaking of hot blondes. What was Van Hammer's name while in the MIA stable and WCW? <laughs> and she's giving me a look. <laughs> I'm going to go with a name. Yeah, GI bro. I won't give any more hands. I don't want to give any more hands. Was he in a Bad Bony music video? <laughs> Now that I know, actually, I'm going to pretty assuredly say no because I think he wasn't he uh, Van Hammer in trouble recently. When a guy named Van Hammer, it's always going to get in trouble. Just how a guy who's always has the first name Keith is always going to have drugs on him. <laughs> oh, what? Sam knows what I'm talking about, right there, Sam. Hell yeah. There you go. I don't know no Keith's then who they are. I know Keith Fur. Sellerman? Yeah. He he liked drugs once upon a time, I think. Hey, I know I know Keith Lee. He liked, he liked DUIs once upon a time. Am I right? <laughs> oh, I'm just All right. Are we in, Jen? Sam, you in? Oh, man. Absolutely. All right, I mean, Andrew, what you got? So uh I was trying to come up with a thoughtful answer, but I said Dick Wagon McGee. Oh, I like the name, Sam. So sometimes when you look back on history, you know, you remember it a little bit differently. So I, I really hope I'm making this up. I hope this is not the right answer. But I said Sergeant Stash. Oh, actually, no. You're thinking of Hugh Morris, Steve. Sam, yeah, that, yeah. Sam, I, I almost want to argue you should get the point because it's Stash, but it's Major Stash. Oh, uh, no, you're right there, man. You're right there. Like, give you lots of props. You were. Uh, Oh man, so close though. Bro. Is a drug hey, at, at least you yeah. spell stash correctly. And you know what? I wrote it with a CH at first, and then I crumbled up and rewrote it. <laughs> I was like, wait, that doesn't look right. Man, not a mustache. That's my kind of stash. stash. A stash you probably have some of yourself. Your Number seven. <laughs> I don't know what's so Goldust heavy, but Goldust <laughs> defeated who at Survivor Series 1995 in this person's last WWF slash E match ever. So Survivor Series 95, gold is fitted who? This person would never be seen again. At least in a match. Or probably ever again. And there's a yeah. Like cease to exist. I don't say all that. I just I mean it was his last match in WWF. So he did wrestle elsewhere. This. All right, Sam, if you're ready, what you got? I uh, kind of want to live here with a little guess, but I said uh, Rod Radford. And Andrew, what you got? I went on a complete guess and said Virgil. Looking for Bam, Bam, Bigelow. Oh, hey, look. Yeah, you know, I do remember them feuding. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then Bam Bam would uh, kind of do indies, Japan, ECW, WCW. Never went back to WWE. Number eight, Derek Billington and John Cahill wrestled one NXT match, but would then go on to win the TNA tag team titles under what names? Can you say the names again? Derek Billington and John Cahill wrestled one NXT match, but would then go on to win TNA tag team titles under what names? Man. Now I'll, I'll give I'll give a hint. Billington and Cahill were basically one off names, kind of like you know. So that's not you know that'd be 
I think they go. They didn't go by Billington and Cahill and TNA. No, that well, the whole point of the question is, what are their TNA names? Yeah, I know. We're just does it impact TNA? The TNA? I would say TNA. Oh, okay then. Yeah, I would pretty safely say TNA. It's not dreadfully long after their NXT appearance. I guess if the TNA questions don't. Damn you. This the Japan guy. Damn you. All right, they were both in. Andrew, right, Sam, we good? I'm in too. All right, thank you, Steve. Andrew, what you got? It's wrong, but I said Motor City Machine Guns. And Sam. Hey, I'm sorry, but we have 50 other guys that could do what you do and they're much bigger. Davey Richards, Eddie Edwards. Sam pulled out exactly. Uh, Steve, what'd you have? Oh, you had Decay. All right. So, yeah, Eddie Edwards, David Richards, they had that one tryout match with the Ascension. My cat just. You know moved. what? Um, the, it reminded me of Dynamite Kid. That's how I remembered the. Because the name sounded familiar. So uh, I thought of Dynamite Kid, and then I thought of David Richards. Ah, yeah. Good, good, good call there. Yep. Those are their one off names. They were in Ring of Honor previously. All right, number nine. Name the three members of the Mean Street Posse. Can you give me a promotion? Oh, yeah, man. WWF. Okay, cool. They were uh, Shane's buddies. Nice season. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I don't think I marked you down, Steve. Sorry. Was that your second point or third point? <laughs> hey, Steve, going, you're playing for Bam Bam Bigelow. Going to four, four points now. But you're at three. I'm at three. Yeah, correct. Right. Okay. Sorry, Kitty. Get off my desk. Kitty. Take a hint. Kitty. 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 You're not taking a hint, buddy. Go. Thank you, buddy. All right. And I'm um, back in frame. All right. And the way Sam's playing, I, we got to get more on the show. All right, Jordan? Uh, Funkberg. I'm here to be a jobber, so I'm happy I'm living <laughs> up my name. <laughs> no, I mean, no, you're no. all going to do more shows, Andrew. I mean, they were, it's all in the family. All right, good. Everyone's doing good so far. Sam's in, right? Uh, Andrew, what you got? I had no idea. I said Mike Eichenspike. <laughs> and funky he guessed Ronnie Joey Abs. he nailed all three so did Steve yeah Shane's buddies Pete Gas, Rodney and Joey Abs. Rodney and Pete actual buddies Joey Abs, uh, just uh, an actual wrestler, wrestler with yeah. them in hey did Rodney ever have a last name I mean no he did in real life well <laughs> <laughs> yes I would imagine his mother and dad yes the name was on them Dude, you remember Pete, Pete Gass's uh, like blade job at Mania? Good lord! I don't. Know. The only thing I would argue with you is I'm pretty sure like Brad or someone like legit him. I don't think. Oh, was legit. legit? I, I thought he. Yeah. I thought he might have opened himself a little more. Well, I don't. I'd have. I'd, no, I'm pretty. I think he sells it. He he has a book and he'll sell it to you. <laughs> if you ever seen I really, uh, I really dug Rodney's hairstyle. He, he was blonde. Yeah. You know? He was blonde uh, and the sides were shaved and just it looked really cool because it was like. Long on top a little bit. That's kind of hard. Right, boys, can we get my torture done with? All right, final final question of the day. <laughs> Looking for three names here. Name the three men who won the light heavyweight title on a Sunday Night Heat episode. The light heavyweight title, I believe, having the most changes on Sunday Night Heat than anything else. Oh, maybe the hardcore. I have to look into that. I always forget about those.
complete guesses. It's only three, right? Only three, only these three, Scotty, or is it like three out of? Whoa, sorry, I got distracted by finding a really cool photo. What happened? So it's only three people that have won the, the, the light heavyweight title at. Um... Check it out, your boy Ronnie shaved off all his hair, Sam. Yeah, I see him like that. Like, <laughs> Look at him when Ronnie! he was younger. Look how cool his hair was then. Man, of course, that's Tommy Dreamer, the second one. But yeah, Joey Abs looking older. Pete Gas looks about the same. <laughs> Pete Gas looks like he's only about five years older. <laughs> yeah, he guess is cool. I like he made that ca- those cameos on the Edge of Christian show of awesomeness. Oh my gosh, that was such a great show! Yeah. All right, you think it will return? No, just kidding. It's a Christian. All right, <laughs> <laughs> it'll be the Edge show that totally makes him awesome. Yeah. There we go. Edge has his own spinoff. Uh, all right, let's start. Andrew, what you got? I said X Park. Taka Michinoku and Christian. All right. And Sam, what you got? I said uh, the same two, Taka, Christian, but I said Dean Malenko. Uh, oh, and you say, wow, uh, is it Steve? Steve nails two thirds of it, actually. SA, Crash Holly, and not Xbox, but Jerry F. and Lynn. Oh. Regardless, though, no one gets that points. But here hey. today is your winner, Funkberg, going 2 0 now. Yeah. Sam Medina. Eight points in the end. Andrew, four. Is that correct, Steve? Yeah, four. Uh, All right. This, I just want to make sure you're in four. We'll give him five. It's okay. <laughs> just give him five. Yeah, I'll take five. I'll take five. Round <laughs> up. Hey, he's got Hey, he's got till five, ref. Funky Sam, he came in. Uh, he put some good points on the board, some good pulls there. Any parting words? Um, No, not really. It was really fun. I, I, I appreciate you having me. Absolutely, buddy. Absolutely. Andrew, you came in, man. You put some points on the board as well here. We had, This was a deep cut episode. I feel we should label this episode. It's not always like this. <laughs> but uh, you, you got what you got. No, but so we got points, four points on the board. Four points. Very good. Any parting words? I'm happy to be here. Thank you for having me. Um, it was tough, but I'm happy I didn't get shut out. So that's all, I can, all. all I can ask for. Not at all. Absolutely, man. Good performance by both. Steve, I like your jacket. Thank you. At Funky Sam Medina, follow him. Very funny man. Check out his comedy. Check him out. Check out his OnlyFans. That's you. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, OnlyFans. Um, I can't give the password to it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Steve Mesa, Andrew, Sam, Mesa J- Media. Follow Mesa Media as well. Like, subscribe, all that usual stuff everyone says at the end of their YouTube videos. And as always, hey, we love you more than you'll ever know. Thank you.